plug in the rice cooker and turn it on high so it will be ready shortly. Fill a pot with water and bring it to a boil. Put your chains in a container that can hold up to boiling water. The powder lubricant in the wax will stain the container so you may want to choose something dedicated just for this. Pour the boiling water into the container. Make sure that the chains are completely submerged. Mix it around for one to two minutes. Be careful not to burn yourself. Use a pair of pliers to remove a chain while they are still hot. With a rag in one hand, pull the chains through the rag until it doesn't leave any residue on the rag. Before the chain is run through the rag, I am only able to touch it in very short lengths without getting burnt. It cools very quickly with each pass through the rag. You may notice that the chain becomes stiff after this process. This is because the wax between the rollers and pins are melted and recooled. Fill the ultrasonic cleaner with water and a degreaser. I use Simple Green. Put the chains in the ultrasonic cleaner and set the timer for 10 minutes. Remove the chains and pour out the dirty solution. Rinse the cleaner and wipe it out with a rag. Pull the chains through a rag again until the chains leave no residue on the rag. It is important never to let the chains sit too long in the water or to drip dry. It will not take long for them to start rusting and be ruined. Fill the cleaner with clean water and run the chains through another 10 minute cleaning cycle. Remove the chains and pour out the dirty solution. Rinse the cleaner and wipe it out with a rag. Pull the chains through a rag again. There should be no or very little residue left on the rags this time. If there is a little residue, continue pulling the chains through the rag until it leaves none. Arrange the chain so it will fit into your rice cooker. I count four outer links in each row. I've made the little hangers out of wire hangers for pants that you get from the cleaners. I discovered that regular coat hangers are thicker and will not fit between the chain links. Check that the wire you use will fit before you spend the time twisting and bending them. Thread the hanger through the chain. I've learned that bending the ends of the hangers will prevent the chains from slipping off while on the hot wax. The wax should be melted by now. Stir it very good. The dry lubricant mixture in the wax settles to the bottom. The bottom side of your chain will become black if you don't. Submerge the chain into the wax. Vibrate and shake it. You want the air trapped between the pins and rollers to escape and fill those areas with wax. Flip the chain over and repeat. If your wax is deep enough, you can add a second chain. Repeat the same process for the second chain. Let the chain sit for five to 10 minutes on each side. Vibrate, shake, and move them around occasionally. Hang the chains above the rice cooker so they can drip. Wipe the excess wax off the sides of the chain very lightly with a paper towel. The important wax is between the pins and rollers. Excess wax on the exterior of the chain will just flake off when you start writing anyways. Dip the master links. You have trouble connecting them if the wax on them is too thick. If so, scrape some wax off the plates where they touch the chain. After the chains have set for several hours or overnight, remove the hangers. The chains will be very stiff and I leave them this way until I'm ready to install them. If you have multiple bikes, organize the chains and their master links in marked Ziploc bags. When you are ready to install the chain, break each link free and work the chain through your fingers to loosen the links. If you enjoyed riding bikes before, it just got better.